Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4 Kids at 147. And today is another day. It is the 7th of June and it's time to do another painting. Uh, we have an art, one of the museum edition pictures for today. But before I get into that, I have been saying that Melissa sent me a gift. Um, that had been in the conservatory um, but yeah she sent me a lovely card and these gorgeous stickers which will be the ideal project to do just when I fancy doing a little bit of something but maybe don't fancy getting um, my big paintings out. She also sent me this gorgeous card and it does also have a little a little diamond painting in there as well um, but yeah, it's so sweet. She's just saying, uh, thinking of me since I've been ill. Apparently the picture on the front that Jack chose and it's cake all the way with him. Well, cake works with me as well. Uh, she did also say that the wax in the kit is a little bit different from the normal. Oh, that makes me wonder then, because it's, it's got a picture like it's the normal wax. Let's have a look, what have we got? Oh, it is different. It is like a clear, it's thicker as well. It's a thicker piece of wax than you would normally get. So normally you get a really thin piece, but this is actually quite thick. And it's really hard. That's like tough, tough. Okay, might have to give that one a go and see what it's like. So thank you so much to Melissa from that. It's actually quite apt because I finally remembered to bring that in with me. And I'm also going to be using a pen that Melissa sent me um, quite a while back. So this is a Stabilo sort of writing pen that's been adapted into a diamond painting pen. And I have changed the tip to one of the everlasting tips that I purchased off Etsy. Um, it has a glue dot in it. So yeah, I'm actually gonna be using this pen from Melissa today as well. Along with a Zesty limited edition tray from October. So we released a series of three Zesty trays in October. So I've got that. The other thing I did need to bring up was on the 5th, the, when I did the other museum art piece, the video cut off near the end. Now, I don't know if that is because it didn't record or whether I made a mistake when editing and didn't drag it into the ensemble of video sections. I don't know which. Um, I do have a couple of memory cards that I use and I do tend to clear them as I go along. As soon as uh, I spotted comments that it did cut short, I went and had a look and seen if I'd still got it on a memory card, but I hadn't. It was on a memory card I wiped before filming the sixth. So I do apologize uh, for the ending of that. I'm sorry if your comment was one of the comments or the questions that I answered at the end of that video. I don't know which ones they were. I don't have any idea of knowing which ones they were. So if you asked a question probably on the 1st of June, let me have a look, where am I? Am I still on the video from the 2nd? See, there is some comments that have been left on the 1st of June's video, but have been left after the 1st of June. So at the minute, I'm on comments from about the 2nd of June. And hopefully I should be done with those by the end of today's video. So if you left a comment on the 1st or the 2nd, and it's not been read out since, then I do apologise. Bob, your comment again, and I will get to it when I get to the end of the comments. But that is what it looked like finished. So let's see if we can do this piece of museum art, preferably complete 
in the video. So this one is called The Dream. So that's what this one is called. It has some black. It actually has quite a bit of black and I think that's what I'm going to start with because that's what I have in the bottom left hand corner. So let's get a load of black in this tray and you can definitely see that coming. And let me zoom you guys in. I need to scoot over a little bit. And let's do a painting of the dream. It takes me a little minute to get used to how to hold this pen because it does have really nice grips on it and it is actually sort of shaped for you to hold two with your finger and actually rest your finger under another one. But it just takes my brain a minute to go to using it because I've been using a pen that doesn't have these grips. But if you do have trouble with holding anything, you may find that this sort of thing works for you. And say this is just an adapted, normal ballpoint type pen. Uh, and it's been adapted to add a tip to it. Now I have changed it from brass to a steel tip, but it's still, um, it's still the sort of diamond painting pen tip and you could use brass just as easily. If I remember rightly, you can actually take apart this pen so you can unscrew it and see that is a pink diamond painting pen, albeit smaller. And that's just been changed out to be a pink pen. So if you find this sort of grip is something that you can deal with better, then you have the ability to create your own diamond painting pen using a pink pen from a kit or a clear pen or a blue pen, depending on what your kit came with. Because I know there's a few different colors now that are used in kits. Right, I've got a couple of straight lines done, trying to work out where it is I'm going on the painting. Trying to make sure that I can get these straight. And I am using my little finger to sort of rest on the painting, but I'm not putting too much pressure. That's just resting there so that I can steady my hand. But I'm making sure that I sort of use my nail more than I more than the full weight of my finger so that it doesn't stick to the canvas. Okay, questions and comments. So we have uh, Nelly. She says she's doing her painting but she's having trouble with the glue dot and waxes. She's at a loss what she can use. She said she may keep trying the dots and to keep up the good work of teaching us. Um, the dots are probably the best one to persevere with. Just don't forget when they do get a little bit too sticky and they seem to want to stick to the diamond, more than the diamond wants to stick to the canvas, to dab it on your clothes or even on your hand, let it pick up the oils from your hand and it will help it to lose that little bit of stickiness but not too much. So it can still pick up diamonds for you but it will last a lot longer. When you first put a glue dot in a pen it can take excuse me, it can take quite a little bit of prep and you may find that you get to place a, a nice amount of diamonds and then all of a sudden it starts getting sticky again um, and you may have to do it a few times until all of a sudden you realise that you've not had to do it for ages and when you get to that point it's a sweet spot 
and you can just keep going with a glue dot. Uh, some people like to use the likes of museum putty and things like that with their diamond paintings. So if you do really want to try something else, then maybe that will work for you. But there are many people that say that that lasts longer than wax. I don't know the comparison to glue dots, but it lasts longer than wax. Um, snooze, Susan, Snoozen, sorry, Susan, uh, she said she was able to sneak in her IAMOBD painting while watching The Waffle tonight. She said it's quite late and she's on a plane to the other side of the country tomorrow. Um, she'll be missing from the chat for four days. Uh, but she will catch up upon her return. Uh, she's really liking the little paintings uh, and they are adorable. She said, thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, I love these little paintings. They're just, they're fun. Might have taken a long time to kit up, but really the two hours it took me to kit up, I do need to bear in mind that it was three different sets. So I was kitting up three lots of paintings that I would normally do individually and I was doing them all in one. Um, while the static didn't help, it can take me that long to kit up one painting. Uh, you know, it can take me, what, three quarters of an hour to kit up one painting. So for it to take the amount of time it did for three is actually still pretty reasonable. And that's why I spread it out over a few days. Saved my patience with the static. Uh, Kasara, she says, I am going to keep on working on her bigger painting that she's currently doing. Uh, she's waiting on her first order from Diamond Art Club. She got Sneaky Cat. Uh, she also ordered the Forever Stainless Steel Single Placer. And she hopes it will work with our resin pen. She says, I love your video. It should work fine with our resin pen. <clears throat> I know ours do. Um, I haven't checked other suppliers. I'm not sure where it was that you ordered it from. Um, and I'm not going to look at our orders because that's not the point of mixing up with YouTube. Um, is spilling beans on what people have ordered that's not that's up to them to spill the beans on what they've ordered <clears throat> um, but yeah if it's one of ours it will work perfectly fine all of mine have got our single placer metal tips in and um, even from other suppliers it should I just can't guarantee because I haven't tried this right we've got some red necks and this is also scattered all over the painting. This one's a little bit harder to see in the pink tray, but it's still visible. Just not as much of a contrast as the black was. Let's give that one a little nudge to straighten that bad boy up. Um, Tasha and Cassie said, love watching your videos and waffles. And they're glad that I'm feeling better. Watching your videos, they decided to purchase the diamond painting Mother Earth, which is a diamond art club painting um, by the artist Hannah Lynn. Uh, she's waiting on it. She fell in love with it while watching me do it. It was, <clears throat> it was a really, really fun painting to do that one. I think more so than I necessarily even thought it would be. Um, I knew it would be a nice painting to do because it was a Diamond Art Club round painting. Um, they're squares I'm always a little bit more wary of, just based on my experience of their square paintings. But as it was a round, I knew it would be nice to work on. I just don't think I realised how enjoyable it would be to work on. And I think a lot of it was down to the colours 
the colours were amazing. Uh, she said she may kit it up for parts of June waffle with a late start. Why not? There is something to be said for doing a painting when the excitement level is high. Uh, like I did with Mr Quackers. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed doing Mr Quackers. My excitement level for that painting was high and I pretty much kit him up straight away uh, soon after getting him and thoroughly enjoyed uh, every moment of, of doing him. And I know I'm going to love doing the others, but there's something about the level of excitement for Mr Quackers um, and kitting him up straight away because of that. So if you've got that level of excitement for Mother Earth, get her kitted up, start the enjoyment process of doing it. Um, get a little bit more for your money out of that then. You get your excitement levels higher than they may be if you left it in your stash for a while. Uh, Just Shields says they would love orange trays. And that was a comment left on the 2nd of June. And we have now announced the launch for next, for June. And we have got an Add More Zest tray in orange, which will be released on the 10th. It's up on the website for you to get added to the waitlist, but they'll go up at 10 p.m. British summer time BST on Friday the 10th and I think the orange um, looking at email notifications uh, the people that have asked or the number of people that have asked for an email notification I think the orange is going to go extremely quickly the beige might last a little longer but I sort of expected that anyway. It wasn't a colour that was requested. It was a colour that we decided to do because it was a little bit different. And I think it's definitely got its place, but it's more of a neutral colour. So it's not going to gain the attraction that a colour colour tends to get. And we understand that. But if it's there a little bit longer or a few days longer, like the navy tray was, then so be it. It will give people a chance <coughs> to purchase one who may have missed the actual launch day for whatever reason, because life happens. Uh, Kimberly, she says she's working on her zesty wolf and she's loving it. She said the colours are so pretty and the symmetry of the design makes it a lot of fun to work on. Thanks to you and Diamond Art Studio UK for bringing out this lovely kit. Oh, I'm glad you like it as much as we do. I absolutely adored working on Zesty Wolf. I know it was one that, you know, we chose the design. Diamond Art Studio did their magic to make it even better than we could imagine. But yeah, it was it was such an exciting kit to work on and I love the fact that people that may not have yet done it but are doing it now are, are experiencing the same enjoyment doing it. Um, she says she hopes to see another collaboration in the future. Uh, she has been enjoying the coverage of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee she said her grandmother was born in Widnes, which is not that far from us, <clears throat> and came to the US with her granddad at the end of World War II. And the Queen and the family were always important to her, my mum and to herself. Uh, she said watching all the celebration has made me feel a little bit closer to my grandma. My nana loved the Queen as well. She did, bless her. She loved um, loved watching the royal family or anything that was going on, especially with the Queen. And we used to call her Queenie. 
Um, Kimberly says uh, her grandma would be the same age as the Queen if she was still with them. Uh, are there any celebrations she said planned in your town? Hope you and your family are doing well. Uh, there probably was some celebrations in our town. We didn't necessarily go to any planned events or anything like that. We did have a couple of sort of family gatherings slash visits, but not quite, you know, the full on it's a jubilee party type thing. We didn't so much do that this year. We did quite. We did have a a, a bigger gathering for the royal wedding, uh, but not so much for the jubilee. Not for any particular reason, apart from you know just the way life is and how busy life is. <clears throat> Nothing for or against the ro royals. It just didn't. Yeah, it just didn't happen this year for us. I did watch some of the some of the things going on in London though just because yeah it is it is a fairly big event um for the Queen and to be honest I don't think I could do the same job for that many years especially the job that she's got um but yeah it's nice to see that she's finally able to slow down a little bit it might be a health that is making her um, but I think she deserves the rest. Rest and recuperation. Enjoy her retirement. Not that uh, I think she particularly gets a retirement and she's definitely waited long enough for it. Uh, Susan, she said, love the minis. She has the Around the World series. She said, will you be doing a video on framing these minis? Yes, I will. I have, I have probably commented quite a few times on the fact that I want to do a video on framing these minis. Uh, unfortunately, due to not being well, it's sort of the video that hasn't quite yet got done because I know it's going to be a more time consuming video even I'm not quite sure yet how I want to exactly structure what is on camera and off camera but there are only certain amount of times that you may want to watch me put a picture in a frame but I have a load of frames already uh, Paint Gem were kind enough to sponsor me getting a load of frames from Ikea to show you guys how they look. Um, not everybody has an Ikea near them. There are a few other frames that I've picked up just from, for example, supermarkets that come in standard sizes that you'd be able to find in, I don't know, Walmart probably if you're in the US, Kmart if you're in Australia, um, even your local supermarket if they do frames uh, that's where I've picked up a few of ours I've picked them up from Asda and Tesco which are UK based but pretty much anywhere that will do a photo frame I've picked up a few examples yeah I've picked up an example of some of those as well um, to ensure that I've got a broad range of frame types and I'm really looking forward to framing a load. I was just going to do it with houseplants, cocktails and the national parks because they were the paintings that I had done when I purchased the frames. But now I've got this whip and waffle going on and I will have done another 30 by the time it's finished. <clears throat> I think I'll be including some of those as well. If I get it if I get it videoed throughout the month of June, you might just see a few of them. Uh, but I have visions it will actually be filmed in July when they're all done. 
and I'm going to try and catch up on other videos that were put off due to feeling unwell and get those done first. So, but yes, I am doing a video on framing um, and that should be out at some point in July. I need to anyway because the frames are sat in a bag and they keep getting underfoot because they're sat there waiting for me to do the video and I don't have the shelf space to just put them with no pictures in for storage and I'm itching to decorate um, shelves that we've got put up in the kitchen and a few other places dotted around the house. I'm quite excited to put a few of the images up so it's definitely a video I want to do. It's just one that I've not yet had the chance to do. But hopefully I'll get to do it soon. Uh, All Things Crafty by Kaz. She says it's five years. She will have been diamond painting five years in September. See, it's a nice long lasting hobby is what it is. Keep you going. Um, I'm about to hit, well, I've hit four years now and I absolutely love it, in case you haven't guessed. Right, change colours. Got a few of, that yellow has a few of the diamonds that are stuck together. That's why I tip so many in my tray and I can deal with the ones that are stuck together later. But let's get some bright yellow in this one. Just make sure that I nudge that up a little bit so it's straight and then use that diamond to nudge it down so it all lines up. Um, Sherry said she's picked up the tattoo set, um, the paint gem minis. That's one of the new ones. There's some really, really fun designs in that tattoo set as well. Uh, she said they're classic tat designs. Yeah, that's what I'd call them, classic ones. And she says she just loves them. I like the fact they're bringing out loads of different styles and types, you know, that will will suit to different people and their tastes. I think, you know, there's pretty much, you know, there may be some people that aren't overly keen or don't get hugely excited over some of the designs. Like I got overly excited with the um, plants edition and the cocktail edition. Uh, but I think everybody would be able to find a design on there that they actually like. It's just whether they want to like it enough to spend the money to get it. Um, but I absolutely love them. I think just the process of doing them is a huge part of the enjoyment for me. Regardless of what the image is, I do enjoy the process of doing them. It's, it's a sense of achievement getting a mini painting done in a reasonable amount of time. And it's, as I may have said before, in fact, I know I've said it before, if you've never done squares before, uh, the minis can be a great way to sort of build up how you do uh, how you do squares. Now, there was a tip and trick given on the group. I think it was Hank on the group um, suggested to somebody who was struggling with with squares primarily the partial painting so the flowers where it doesn't have a straight edge so you've not got a straight edge to start off with and build up they were struggling to get them straight enough and Hank suggested starting from the middle and working out so you've got your diamond in the middle and then you build them up around it using the edges of the diamonds you've already placed to help and apparently that worked really, really well, according to, I think it was Jackie, said that it worked really well. So thank you so much to the group for helping each other out with extra tips and tricks and potentially helping me for a future video as well. We're in my tips and tricks series. 
um, comes back and I'm able to get some more of those done. Right, I've done all the way across this bottom row, so I'm now going for this top part here, and then I'll probably do those, and then I'll start in this main bit in the middle, I think. I like to get the edges done while I can, just to make sure that I've got that nice definitive line that I like, and that when I'm placing a load of diamonds in the middle, um, they can all line up to it and it can help me to keep that straighter edge. Uh, oh, Nancy says she has ordered the Zodiac and the Space Edition ones. She hopes to get them soon. Zodiac is one of the new ones. The Space Edition is one of the older ones. Um, but they're both great designs. One of the space sets, um, the originals, I did an unboxing on, but they are for Megan to do. So it'll be a while before they need framing. But the second space set is the one that I am I'm doing in with these whip and chats. It's one of the sets that I kit up to do throughout June, though I think I've only done one of them so far. It's not come up in my little selection that Megan's done for me. Oh, but that might change tomorrow. <laughs> I've just had a look at what's on the top of the pile, thinking it is the space set that I'm doing as well, isn't it? I don't remember seeing any, but yeah, it is. And I think we might be up for a space themed one tomorrow. Mix them, mix them all up just a little bit, but they'll all get done eventually. It's like when I use the decision wheel to decide what square I'm doing. Sometimes it pretty much clumps a whole section of the painting together and I feel like it's not mixing them up enough, but how is mixing them up enough? Because if you start doing if you start doing one from each set and then one from each set, you feel like while it's mixed up, it's got a pattern to it. And the idea is that I want random. I don't want so much of a pattern pattern. I like the randomness. Uh, jo said the floral mini set is on her wish list and she will get it and some others after she slashes a few more from her stash. Sometimes it is worth setting a little mini goal of how many to do out of your stash and then you can treat yourself to some mini sets. Uh, it is now her second year back doing diamond painting after she took a five year break. She started in 2014 she finished four kits, then took a break in 2015 uh, with one work in progress and one in her stash. She took out that work in progress last June, 20, June 2020, and except for some short breaks, she's been diamond painting since. And I reckon the diamond painting world has changed loads since you started in 2014. It's changed since I started in 2018, it's changed. There are so many more things coming out, so more options of where to buy from. Definitely more companies with licensed art and higher quality of paintings if you, you know, you want to treat yourself to the higher quality which I must say are absolutely amazing to do. And if it wasn't for this channel, I possibly would be a diamond painter that only did the higher end paintings, just because they are so quite a bit more, to me anyway, enjoyable to work on. Um, but the other, you know, maybe lower end or cheaper paintings aren't horrible um 
so I tend to keep both in the mix um, partly for the channel but at the same point I say they're not awful to do they're not awful to do and I like the fact that there are cheaper options out there for people that want them because not everybody can afford the high end all the time um, yeah, so I can imagine, Joe, that it has changed hugely and there is loads more of different stuff available. Even, you know, the likes of the diamond painting pens that have come out, the tips, the trays that you can now get, um, you know, just the improvement of so many things and the choices there, which is what's amazing, the choices there. People have choices. They can spend more, they can spend less. Uh, even those that you spend less, the quality is getting better. The quality is getting better on some of the cheaper diamond painting kits. So they're still enjoyable to do. And I don't want to sort of put down, you know, the cheaper options of kits. Sorry if you can hear Luna, the doorbell's gone. Um, she goes a bit ballistic when the doorbell goes. Um, yeah, they're, they're not they're not bad quality. I suppose that's what I want to say. Some of the cheaper kits, and many of the cheaper kits that I do, are not bad quality. But the higher end are just a little bit better quality. And that's more... Uh, what sometimes I do really enjoy doing. Uh, Lady Dax says those ABs really make the flowers pop. And that was on the third. Yes, I love the AB diamonds in the flower set. I think they work really, really well, especially if you just do a little bit of the flower just a little section of the flower. I think I'm leaving the art collection or the museum edition just because, you know, they are depicting works of art. And while there is definitely no high level of art to the paintings that I'm doing, I feel like ABs may detract from from what they are, whereas on the flowers, I think they really help. Uh, Leanne, she said she used to get monthly, uh, her kit through her monthly subscription from Easy Win. I did Easy Win for a few months. Uh, she said she has quite a stash and she liked the surprise aspect of what would come, come in. She said, through watching your videos, she stopped her subscription and started purchasing from Diamond Art Club. And she just loves the quality of the canvas and the drills. Uh, she didn't think it was possible, but she enjoys diamond painting even more with the quality. And I think that Leanne has just summed up like what I've said. The hobby is still enjoyable with, you know, maybe they're cheaper and I'm not saying they're cheap and they're not tacky or anything like that. They are still nice kits. Um, there's just then slightly more premium kits, slightly more enjoyment from the niceness. Uh, she says she also got her first zesty tray in purple and she absolutely loves it she says she can't wait to order more oh that's nice uh, she says your customer service is amazing and shipping was faster than she expected and that's from hawaii our ship our, our trays are all over the world sometimes the postal service is nice to us and sometimes it's not but i'm glad you got yours uh, yeah, I did Easy Whim for a few months to give it a go, uh, partly for the channel. I wanted to show people what was out there. I love the fact that it was a surprise. Um, 
but I also enjoy the fact of, of buying or picking up paintings that I see that just really catch my eye and as much as they're not a surprise I think I get an enjoyment from them just a little bit more because I know what they are and I know the image is stunning and I'm happy to do it but yeah there is there is something to be said for a kit especially if you're just starting out and want to build up your stash it can be a nice way because they do let you pick a theme they do let you pick you know the types of pictures that you're happy to receive whether it be fantasy or you know floral like they get you to pick a theme that you like so you know you're more likely to to be happy with the image and you can change that about if you want to vary stuff or you can just pick random and they'll send you whatever from different, you know, different themes. Um, and it was good for a short amount of time. I just don't think I could even keep up with it long term. I don't think I could get all the paintings done in the time frame for a kit to turn up. But it, it was it was fun to do it for a, for a period of time. That's for sure. Uh, Renee. She said she's working on the Mini National Park edition. She's waiting on her next order, uh, which is the National Parks 2 and Houseplants. She loves working on them in between a big canvas that she's working on. Yeah, they're just a fun little break. It's, I think I use these mini paintings like I used to use potentially the off the canvas items so I'd want to take a little break from doing something you know from doing a big design that especially at the beginning you can sometimes feel as though you're not necessarily getting anywhere with it even though of course you are every diamond placed is a step closer and all of that um, but I used to enjoy grabbing off the canvas items just for that quicker satisfaction of a project completed but I do find that off the canvas while I do still love them and there are still many that I do and keep there are only certain amount of items that I can do as an off the canvas um, all the time whereas these mini paintings I don't know, I find like they don't take up much as much space maybe as the big ones and I can envision me changing some of these out uh, in the likes of photo frames so I can vary the ones that are displayed around my house and have a little bit of a change but they don't take up too much space while they're sat there waiting for their turn in the limelight. Right, well, quite a lot of J. Let me just scroll up a little bit, give my diamonds another little shake just to get them a little bit closer to this end of the tray and then any that aren't lining up get shoved to the end so I can work through the next section. Um, Liz said a lovely, another lovely video had to chuckle, she said on the comments on the early video as she's recently watched it too. Oh, one of my first videos, Jeanette gave me a list of the things that I said. Like diamond painting wouldn't take over my life when it has. Uh, she says she's new to diamond painting and while you were, while I was ill, she said she filled her time starting my videos from the beginning. <laughs> Yes, some of my earlier videos are a little bit of entertainment. Uh, some of them are still pretty valid. I do need to revisit the needs versus wants video. I think I think a lot of them will still be pretty similar. But I haven't watched it, I don't think, since I filmed it. So I could have said some stuff in there that's completely different. 
I know I did a, a top five things I would buy diamond painting wise if you've just started my top five choices and um, there are some people that had slightly different choices but for very valid reasons uh, personal circumstances can make a difference and um, physical capabilities can make a difference to priorities but yeah I listed my top five things that I use pretty much every single diamond painting um, to be able to treat yourself to but yeah I think I might need to do a needs versus want again I'll have to get through the videos that are already on my list first and I might see if I can revisit that at some point and maybe do another one uh, Miranda says she likes it thank you Miranda Cher loves orange, were, who was formerly known as Cher for him. Uh, she said she started adding bling a little bit. She said if her background is 3865, she's outlined some of the features with 3865 ABs. So like giving it an extra little border. She said it just adds some sparkle. She's working on the Zesty Wolf for June. She tried doing that with the 775 ABs that's in the background, but she took them off. She said it made it look like they were smudged. Yeah, there are some that can work on backgrounds and some that can't. White ABs are often the easiest ones to add out of them all. Uh, but I am pretty sure that Giles from Diamond Art Studio did put some ABs on Zesty Wolf. I think he did some of the oranges. So some of the oranges, maybe some of the blues or pinks, but I think it was primarily the orange. The orange is quite featured throughout the whole design of Zesty Wolf. Um, and if one of the colours of the orange would probably be one of the best to change. I'm trying to have a look now. Possibly the lightest one uh, to change that up throughout. That would give you your extra bit of sparkle throughout the picture. But I wouldn't change all the oranges. I would just potentially pick one or if you do have a favourite colour if pink or turquoise is your favourite colour then maybe highlight those instead to make it pop but I think that would work better than the background the background, the background on Zesty Wolf is that pale blue um, with the purpose of not making it pop too much uh, it was originally white when we were looking at the design, but we did change it uh, to the blue because we felt it blended a little bit better. And the, the purpose was for it to not stand out, for Zesty Wolf to stand out. So I think putting ABs in the 775 might bring too much attention to it. But there are many other places you could add some to. Right, let me get some white out now and then I've got a couple more colours before I'm done. Um, she said, these drills on Zesty Wolf are so beautiful. Yes, they are definitely amazing quality drills. So happy with them. And he's currently up in my craft room. He's just to the right of me. Um, he's on some of those magnetic frames where you just get two pieces at the top and the bottom, two pieces of wood that clip together with the painting in between. And he's not been sealed, but all the diamonds are sat there perfectly and he looks amazing. And he's there for me to see and admire whenever I wish. Uh, Nancy, she says, another day done. She enjoyed good weather today out on the back deck while she listened to me and filled in number the number 20 square. 
Uh, she too had a chuckle listening to the notes that were made on your older videos. She says, thank you, Rebecca. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. The notes that I said on my old videos just show you that things can change. They can change well and truly. I didn't realise that diamond painting would grip me so much, but I don't have any regrets. I absolutely love doing my diamond painting and would spend all day doing it if I was allowed. Slash life let me. I suppose it's good to have a mixture, but it doesn't mean I don't enjoy my days when I get to diamond paint all day. Uh, Lexi, she said she ordered the Zodiac and the floral set. So that's another one for the, for the Zodiac. Uh, she can't wait to start working on them. She says when she's diamond paint, diamond painting, she really enjoys putting on my kitting up playlist on shuffle she said sounds like spotify putting a playlist on shuffle uh, though it's a videos playlist on shuffle and not just music i love it you never know which one you're going to get to listen to then either <laughs> um okay g a little bit of brown Diana, she says, hi, Rebecca. She said, I'm loving the June waffle. Uh, keeps her company while she dots away on her beachside oasis canvas. She's dreaming of sitting under a palm tree uh, and putting her feet in the water, she says, someday. Uh, she loves her black Admore's ashtray. Ooh, get the diamond in. Um, she's just waiting for the zesty size in black to complete her set. She's also loving that I'm adding more AB diamonds to the paintings. And she says I'm quite right in the fact that less is more. Um, she likes how the space one I did, she said, just pops in the right spots with the AB. She said, any more, and the effect wouldn't have been as nice, I think. She said, thanks for what you do, and see you tomorrow. Yeah, I think it is It is one of those that, you you know, even with diamonds without, without ABs, like this, there is, there is little bits of a certain colour of diamond that pop just a little bit more because of the colour that they are. But if you had too much of it in there, it would detract, you know, that would be all you'd see. You wouldn't see the rest of the painting for the fact that there was too much of one colour. And I think that can happen with ABs. But the, which was it called? The dream is done. Looks like a mother holding a baby sat in a chair, I think. I'm not I'm not completely up to date on my mu on all of my museum art. While I recognize quite a few of them, I don't recognize this one. But that gives me something to google later. But anyway, that is another mini painting done for today. I kind of feel like that one didn't take too long. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. It did have quite a bit of blockiness with a few of the colours, so I wasn't tipping in and out of trays that much. But thank you all for joining me today, and I'll speak to you all tomorrow for another one.